Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Nina, and I work at Las Vegas Clark County Library District. I'm from the Outreach Department. That means that we go out to the community to do virtual story times and in-person story times in some of the preschools around Las Vegas. I am so happy to be with you and spend time together learning, having fun, and strengthening our executive function skills as well. Let's start with greeting each other hello. We will also use some sign language on this song. That means we're going to sing using our hand. The first one is hello. This is the sign for hello. And this is the sign for glad or happy. And then we're going to clap our hands together. Then we're going to stomp our feet. And finally, we're going to wave our hands. Ready? Hello, how are you? I'm glad to be with you. Let's clap our hands together. Say hi to each other. Awesome. Now let's stomp our feet together. Hello, how are you? I'm glad to be with you. Let's stomp our feet together. Say hi to each other. Then we're going to wave our hands together. Hello, how are you? I'm glad to be with you. Let's wave our hands together. Say hi to each other. Awesome. We all did great, friends. Do you know that following actions and directions also promotes focus and self-control? Because we all stop, we listened, we focused, and we observed, and then we copied the actions. And in those things that we did, we all avoided distraction. So we're off to a good start, friends. Okay, friends, let's pretend to be astronauts. Do you know that when we're pretending to be someone else, it's good for us? because we understand the perspective of others when we're doing that. Okay, now we're all going to blast off to the moon, so we're going to tap our hands on our lap, okay? When we're tapping to the beat, it builds a self-control. It also helps us coordinate our movements, and it will be helpful for reading and math later on, okay? Ready? We're going to the moon, we're going to the moon. Oh, what an adventure, we're going to the moon. Now we are going to blast off and we're going to count using our fingers. When we're counting using our fingers, we're telling our brain that the number and symbols, they have meanings. And we're making a connection, which is also an important executive function skill. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one, blast off! We're going to land back down. Okay, friends, now we are going to do a nursery rhyme. Rhyming is very important because it develops our working memory and it also helps us hear the smaller sounds in words which will help us in reading later on. This is a rhyme about Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on the tuffet, eating some curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh no, that's scary, huh? Okay, friends. We're going to play a rhyming game. This is my bookworm, and my bookworm will be hiding in one of the colorful books. Can you name all the colors of the book? Red, purple, and orange. Okay, so I want you to cover your eyes while Miss Nina hides the bookworm, okay? No peeking, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Where is the bookworm? Hmm, 
do you think it's in the red book? Yeah? All right. You recite this rhyme with Miss Nina, okay? Say, bookworm, bookworm, where should we look? Are you in the red book? Let's find out. <gasps> oh no, it's not there. Where's the bookworm? Keep trying. You remember, it's not in the red one. So we have two choices left, orange or purple. You think it's in the purple book? All right, let's try. Bookworm, bookworm, where should we look? Are you in the purple book? There it is. We found the bookworm hiding in the purple book. Great job, friends. Okay, that's it, friends. We hope you enjoyed our story time today. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel. Let's sing the goodbye song. We are going to sing it to the tune of Happy Birthday to You. Sing, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye my dear friends, I'll see you again. Bye.